SAP Business One gives you the ability to easily customize the solution to match your business processes. A great example of this is in the management of the sales cycle within your organization. By going into the sales area, it's possible to create a sales quotation, then move that through the sales process into a sales order, to a delivery, and then finally through to an accounts receivable invoice. It's also possible to start the process at any point. For example, if customers are coming in and picking up goods directly from your warehouse, you can go ahead and start at the delivery process. Let's go through and have a quick look at how this would work. So if I order this, open up the sales quotation screen, you can see that as I move through each of these screens, they are very, very similar. That then means that the amount of training required uh, is minimal because once a person is familiar with one screen, they are fairly familiar with all the other screens that they'll be working with. So let's go ahead and we'll choose a customer. Again, I have my lookup screen and I'm going to work with one of our customers, Earthshaker Corporation. So I'll select them as a customer. I can see the date that it's, it has selected, uh, my posting date and the document date. I'm also using the business partner currency. Uh, which is US dollars for this particular transaction. So let's go ahead now and we'll choose an item. So in this particular instance, the customer wants the IBM Info Print 1312. And I can immediately see that I have 1,415 of this item in stock. So I'm going to choose that particular product. I can then go ahead and add additional products. And I can also do this through a multi-select function. So if they've said to me, look, we also would like the IBM Info Print 1226, and I also want uh, a color laser jet 4. So simply by holding the control key and selecting the second item, I can go ahead and choose both of those products. So once I've done that, I'm happy with everything uh, that's, that's, that's there in this particular document. So I go ahead and I choose add. Once I have that document in the system, I can quickly go ahead and I can send a copy of that quote I can either print that, uh, I can do a print preview, I can print it out the hard copy, I can email, I can fax that out, or I can generate it into a Word template. Now I've finished the sales quotation, let's assume the customer has just called me back and said, hey, um, I'm happy with the quotation, what I'd like to do now is take that uh, and turn that into a sales order. So with SAP Business One, we have the copy to function here within the, the source document. So I choose copy to, and I now say, where do I want this to go next into my sales cycle? Do I want it to go to a sales order? Or perhaps the customer is coming directly into my warehouse to pick the goods up. I can send this straight through to a delivery or an accounts receivable invoice. In this case, I'm going to send it through to a sales order. And you can now see I have my sales order screen uh, has now opened up, with, which has all the information copied through from the, uh, from the sales quotation. So let's assume all that is okay. I can now go ahead and add that transaction. So I now have my sales order has now been posted. And now I can go ahead and I can copy that straight through to an accounts receivable invoice. I'm getting a little warning message here that the customer has exceeded their credit limit because that's the way I've currently configured the system. But I've also configured the system to allow me to override that with my user rights. So it's asking me, do I want to continue? And I'll say yes. And again, it has gone ahead and it's created an accounts receivable invoice for me. So uh, that's the final stage in the process. When I'm happy with everything on the accounts receivable invoice, again, I can go ahead and print that. or get a print preview of that, uh, that accounts receivable invoice. And you can now see there is my example of my invoice. Uh, but assuming everything is okay, I just go ahead and choose add. And it's warning me that I cannot change the document after I've added it. Why? Because I'm about to post directly into the general ledger. So I will go ahead and uh, say yes. Again, one more credit limit warning. Do I want to continue? Yes, I do. And that's the process. I've gone from a sales quotation through to a sales order, right through an accounts receivable invoice and the system uh, gives me the ability to manage that process 
and to also dive in. You'll notice I missed the delivery process. That's because for my particular organisation, uh, we didn't want to do the delivery at this particular point in time. We just wanted to go ahead and turn that sales order straight into an accounts receivable invoice.